There are a lot of videos on YouTube that involve so-and-so mistakes a beginning director will make, like having an underdeveloped story or a bad cast. Oh, hi, Mark. But what about the mistakes that beginning cinematographers make? That's what we're gonna tackle today, five mistakes beginning cinematographers make and how you can avoid them. Number one, shooting wide open all the time. Just because your lens can go all the way down to f1.4 doesn't mean it always should. In fact, many lenses operate at their highest quality when they're two stops above their lowest f-stop. Instead of always opening up your lens, try adding a bit of light and exploring different apertures. You'll be surprised at how much narrative depth you can add to your story by exploring different f-stops and not always chasing that blurred background aesthetic so many people become obsessed with. Number two, not knowing your camera's native ISO. In Cameras 101, you're taught to shoot at the lowest possible ISO all the time if you want to avoid any type of noise. This actually isn't always the case. Many cameras and logs have a base or native ISO that they operate best at. For example, when you're shooting S-Log, your base ISO will be 1600 or 3200 depending on the version. When you're on a camera like a 5D Mark III, your native ISO will be 160. Number three, thinking that three-point lighting is all you need. We're all taught that three-point lighting is the quintessential way to light a scene. Key, fill, back. But three-point lighting is usually just the first step, and forgetting about things like accent lighting, ambient lighting, and practical lighting will make your scene look flat. Remember, it is your job as the director of photography to be responsible for the lighting of the entire scene and the story that goes with it, not just the prettiest lights on the subject. Number four, forgetting about negative fill. It is just as important to take away light as it is to add it. When you have too much light, it spills over and starts to look unnatural. Refining and controlling your light with negative fill will give your frame a much more polished look and add depth to your overall image. Plus, it can help with storytelling. More negative fill will give you a more dramatic look and tell us that your character is going through a darker part of their narrative. And number five, always following the rules and looking pretty. Yes, you should learn the rules before you break the rules. Yes, you should know about the rule of thirds. You should know about three-point lighting. You should know about the rules of adequate headroom. But if you are always framing perfectly on that imaginary line, on the prettiest telephoto lens, with an impeccable three-point lighting setup, your shot will get boring. That's boring. You're boring, everybody. Quit boring, everyone. And you're going to look like every other DP fresh out of film school. OK, thanks. So don't be afraid to break the rules. So there are five mistakes beginning cinematographers make. But what was the biggest mistake you made starting out? Leave a comment below and tell us about it. Make us cringe, make us laugh, make us cry. The best answer is going to win an Aperture M9. I'm Nares from the A-Team. Hit that like button and that notification bell. We'll catch you guys next time.